All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about um, writing a pseudocode and then trying to solve it. So basically what pseudocode is, is just kind of the way to describe the algorithm that we want to write, basically. In this example, um, I think we're going to do, uh, let's say, Pythagoras theorem. There we go. So we want to write a program that can solve this. And so the algorithm is basically just like the set of steps that, you know, we're going to get there um, to solve this problem. So the way we could write this in pseudocode, pseudocode is like kind of like an English version of programming language. So, and it kind of describes what steps we're going to do. So then it's easier to write the actual code. So basically, um, and to solve Pythagoras theorem, we have the you know a triangle that looks you know whatever is a right angle triangle or anything, uh, a right angle triangle. Sorry. So basically, we want to find the length of the hypotenuse. So first, we have to say maybe uh, maybe find length of base. Then the next thing we have to do is find height. You know, um, and then what we want to do is we want to square both sides. Or sorry, I guess both values um, and add them together. Then the next thing we do is, well, I guess we just take the square root of that number. Um, take the square root of that number. And then, you know, if this is a computer program exactly, uh, the, th the purpose is to, you know, show this to someone. So the last kind of step we would do would be, I guess, maybe output, um, output that number the user. So there we go. This is basically pseudocode. Um, and we can take all of these steps in C++ and basically just, you know, write a program that does this for us. So now that we kind of, this is like a good kind of like way to like mentally map something out before you want to do it. And it's an easy way to find out if you can even, if it's even possible, you know, to write a program that can do that. So say we are, you know, say we were given points or something, or let's just make it a little easier on ourselves. And let's say we we're given lengths. So let's say, Maybe length A is equal to 3, um, length B is equal to 4, and we want to find the hypotenuse C, right? What's that number? So let's use the computer to find, or let's write a program that um, basically will solve this for us. So let's start off, you know, let's do doubles just to make sure we don't uh, lose any information along the way. Um, let's say double A is length is 3, and then we'll say double B, the length is 4. And then double, uh, if we can spell it right, double C. Um, we don't know what this is yet, so for now, let's just not initialize it. Um, that's okay. We're not gonna. Be, we know we're not gonna be using it in any formulas yet, so that's fine. We're gonna be assigning something into C later on. So basically, step one: find length of base. Done. Step two: find the height. Done. Um, you know, if we were given coordinates, we could do like x2 minus x1 and stuff, and y2 minus y1 to find the, the length of the sides, but we don't really need to do that right now. Um, so then what we want to do is we want to square both values and add them together. So what we want to do here is we can write, well, basically is um, we want to square 3 and square 4. So the way we write this is um, pow, remember it's a comma 2, right? We're squaring a plus, uh, let's see, uh, pow, we want b squared, so b comma 2. Okay, cool. Um, what we could do, we could store this in a temporary value, or what we can do is we can just do this all in one step if you guys are okay with that. Um, so what we can do is we want to take the square root of the sum of these. So we can write sqrt um, we can open bracket and then we can close that bracket and you see it just matched up with there. And then we also said, well, that is, you know, that number is going to be C. So that's going to be a length of our hypotenuse. So we can store all of that stuff, everything to the right of the assignment operator. We can store all that stuff in one step into C. So that's kind of, you know, uh, you know, a lot going on in one statement. So when we run that, we're going to see here that, well, first of all, you need a semicolon. Second of all, it doesn't know what pow is and it doesn't know what sqrt is. So remember, that's what we just talked about in the last video. Remember, you have to come up here and include, you know, c math so you can use those functions. Okay, so when we go ahead and run this now, um, that's just, you know, to make sure you're paying attention. And when we go here, we forgot to see out c. So, you know, just make sure you're paying attention. If you're talking a bunch like I am, you know, probably get distracted and forget what you're actually doing sometimes. Um, so what we want to do here is say uh, maybe it's the 
length of uh, hypotenuse. We're just going to leave it at hype. Okay, what hypot? Yeah, whatever. That's easier to type. Is um, and then we'll go here and we'll see out C. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and end line and bump that down a little bit. So when we go and run this program, uh, here we have the length of the hypotenuse is five. So makes sense, I guess. Um, we down in here we did some pseudo code, just kind of you know, so we can actually figure out what's going on. Um, sometimes we're going to be writing functions that are a lot harder than this one. Uh, so this kind of stuff will actually really help um, just listing out all the different steps you can do. And then up here, you kind of just write appropriate code to, you know, solve all the steps in that order. And then, yeah, it's a great way to solve problems. And uh, see you in the next video.